Welcome to CET. The first step of digitalizing the energy system is to monitor it, make your energy usage more efficient, which leads to cost savings and also helps emission reduction. Now, you are thinking about installing a digital power meter to monitor your energy, and there are so many different types of meters in the market. Which one should we choose? Let's talk to Mr. ZD to get some ideas. Hi, Mr. ZD. Hi, it's a good question. Well, let me share 10 tips below that you need to take into consideration. Number one, understand the application. For example, if you need to know the consumption of each student's room to cut off the electricity in case that student doesn't pay the bill, then you might want a meter with a data recorder and a built-in disconnect relay feature. If you are a factory and intend to set up multiple time slots for comparing consumption in different periods, then meter with TOU feature is what you need. If you are a data center and want to monitor multiple circuits and harmonics, then you might want MCPM. Number two, integration. Choose a meter that integrates easily into your existing system, supporting protocols like Modbus and BACnet. Let's go to the CT's webpage and take a look at the meter selection guide. The protocol section shows the supporting protocols of each meter. Select the model that provides the right communication method from the meter to your system. Number three, accuracy. Opt for a meter with the necessary accuracy. ANSI C1220 defines the accuracy requirements for revenue grade meters with accuracy classes of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.5. These classes indicate the percentage error allowed in the meter's readings. Similarly, IEC 62053-22 specifies the requirements for static meters for active energy, for example, class 0.5S and above, ensuring high accuracy in energy measurement. Number 4. Form Factor. Digital meters come in various form factors, like panel mount or DIN rail mountable. Select one that fits your application. Number 5. Features. Depending on your application, here is a list of common features of digital power meters. Number six. Mounting requirements. Consider space limitations and ensure the meter fits within your installation area. If the wiring cables must be minimized or the workstation is far away from the site, then maybe a wireless type of metering should be considered. The type and size of CT should also be taken into account. Number seven. Current transformers. The most common types of CT used for digital meters include split core CT solid core CT, Rogofsky coil, and DIN rail CT. They normally come in 1 amp or 5 amp ratings in the market, but beware that some CT are lower than 1 amp. So when ordering a meter, make sure to check the input current specifications and select the proper CT that works with the model. Number 8. Communication Setup. Plan for the meter's communication with other devices or systems, ensuring compatibility. Number 9. Field Configuration. Check if the meter allows for field configuration to adapt to changing needs. Number 10. Total install cost. Account for the total cost of installation, including the meter, additional components, or labor. By considering these factors, you can choose a digital power and energy meter that meets your specific needs and integrates well with your energy management strategy.